The song I wrote for the people that pissed me off today, yesterday, and probably tomorrow. Okay. Fuck off. This is a song I wrote for the people that pay- You bitches couldn't even spell inches. Y'all bitches really could never. I'm giving you body. Just got my body done. Hey, how are you? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> What's cracking huh? apple? What's cracking? Sorry, what was that? What's cracking apple jack? <laughs> Didn't quite catch that. What is that? What's cracking apple? Or what's cracking? Could you repeat that one more time? I can't really hear you. What's cracking apple jack? Yeah. Oh, sorry. D 350. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't really hear you. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. Most of the time, I'm a happy person, but every once in a while, I have to turn on TLC and watch a lady eating her couch cushions to make me feel better about myself. Oh my God, Christina, you are one hot looking man. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me right now? That's awesome. What? Get that. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Get that off, that's disgusting. Hey, what are you guys up to? Just want to pop in and say, fireworks suck so bad, don't light them off. They will kill local bees and other species. The debris will cascade down into local waters. And squirrels get so scared that they abandon their daughters. Don't even get me started on the dogs. It's the worst night for them and also probably frogs. Fourth of July is dumb as fuck anyway Until everyone in this country is free That's all I have to say Okay, here we are Here we are at MrBra.com we're, <coughs> we're at MrBra.com Here we are, lingerie and bras I key in on bras Bras are my thing I have every bra you can imagine Strapless, I, I've told you this before Fraternity, I do a heck of a business with bras Here we are, here's my storefront I'm basically a warehouse. Here you are, CC's lingerie in Phoenix. I have every bra that you could hope for. Uh, hello, uh, can I two Brötchen haben, bitte? Ah, do I detect some notes of the Anglophone in your German diction? <laughs> English is my Muttersprache. Hey, English speaker, yeah. Uh, ich will Deutsch sprechen, weil ich muss mein Deutsch verbessern. Ah, you want to practice your German? Of course, that's the right thing to do. I use any opportunity to practice my English with English speakers. Oh, okay. yeah, aber my English skills are really very basic at best. Fine. It's quite Can embarrassing, really. Can I just have two bread rolls, please? Me and my friend are going to the park to have a picnic, and I so we just... My friend and I. What? When you are the subject of the sentence, the personal pronoun is I, oh, yeah. not me. Well, and, and is it the same in German? Well, in traditional grammar, as you know, there are four basic sentence structures. You basic have the simple sentence, sentence, the complex sentence, the compound sentence, and the complex compound sentence. Complex. What is complex? Complex, mean? consisting of many different and connected parts. C-O-M-P-L-E-X. Compound, C-O-M-P-L-E-X. Oh, will there be a test on this? Score got you in here. 1420. I had a 2.9 in high school and I didn't take the SAT <laughs> or the ACT. If you were to become a millionaire, what would it be from? Oh my god. Def just being a crazy biologist that knows everything about science. Wow. Probably just by like planting trees. Like a lot of them though. A lot of trees. <laughs>
Is that a lucrative business? Yeah, I mean, it depends on the tree. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm going to show you three oils, all you need for everyday cooking, plus this beast. It has a purpose. These two are your everyday cooking oils. Both high smoke point, 500 degrees, avocado oil, olive oil, about 425, 450 degrees, delicate olive flavor, neutral flavor. So it all depends on the cuisine, the types of foods that you're cooking. Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, Italian, Greek, you're going to use olive oil. Everything else? Avocado oil. Use whatever brand you love. Extra virgin olive oil. These are your finishing oils. Use these in cold preparations. They've taken the time, the passion, the love, the energy to create these herbaceous, buttery, spicy, sometimes even lemony flavors. Once you heat it, it changes it. They have a low smoke point at 325 degrees. You heat it past that smoke point, which generally is medium low heat. It's going to become bitter in flavor and can be toxic. Use it as a cold preparation. Vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil. This is your deep frying oil. High smoke point, neutral flavor. You need a lot of it. French fries, fried chicken. This is the oil you're gonna use. If you wanna use this because it's better for you, well, you need three or four of these at 45 to $60. Not logical. But canola oil is not good for you. Then don't eat deep fried foods. Sweetie, if you're not gonna help me homeschool these kids, can you please at least do the dishes? I need to drink wine. Oh, I know you do, but honey, I got you a gift. You did? What? A custom-made mask. <laughs> Are you looking to party this Halloween? Are you sick of being jerked around by the fat cats in the Halloween industry? Then we've got the fix for you. Garments and garments. And Hi, can I help you? Are you like a chimney sweep or something? Oh, you want to buy clothes here? Are you gonna get them dirty? Oh, yeah, that shirt only comes in one size, but I can find you something else for slobby boobies. Yeah, it looks super cute on you, girl. Oh my god, I'm screaming. It literally fits you perfect. Slobby, I mean, sorry, we don't really have a slobs rack. I mean, sales rack, slob. Our return policy is three hours with the tag still on in exchange for a gift card worth half the item's value that expires at sundown. Knock, knock, how's it stealing in there, slob? I mean, going in there, girl. Awesome. Well, I'm Olivia, and you can tell the girls at the front that I helped you. As much as I could. Uh, you two couple, very nice. How long have you been dating for? Nearly five years. Oh wow! Do you remember how you met? Uh, we met at my first wedding birthday party. He was her football coach. Oh nice. <laughs> nice, but very suspicious. <laughs> this man saw a cradle and went, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll just snatch that right up. What is the age difference if you don't mind me asking? Six years. Oh, it's not too bad. How old are you? I'm 14 now. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing some quick maths. <laughs> this isn't court, but if it was, that wouldn't have gone well. <laughs> As you're a liar, I'd be like, objection, you're on a shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, it's all, it's all good now. <laughs> and you, you seem very happy. Yeah, now I'm digging myself a hole again. <laughs> But at least I'm not dating a 17 year old. <laughs> Where was the first date? School. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he took me to the fucking Wiggles. Um, he bought me a Happy Meal afterwards. Best date ever. <laughs> Don't remember. Yeah, because you, yeah, you're probably a bit young to remember. Um, <laughs> I'll move on just so I don't get fucking Chris rocked. Um... <laughs> Saturday morning, 
with a ball and just be like, next. They go just knowing other like-minded basketball loving humans are going to be in the vicinity and they're just gonna like play games together. They're just gonna play games. So I asked my husband, I was like, how do you like make the teams? And he's like, you just like formulate them. You're just like, okay, us three, us four, like us five. I'm like, huh? what chaos? What absolute madness? Can you imagine? I'm like, is there a piece of paper where you're writing people's names down? Whoever has next is like, writes their names on a chalkboard. And then like, how do you know who's on your team if you're not wearing matching costumes? Like you just met these people. How do you know you're not bouncing the ball to the wrong person? Then he says the winning team just stays on the court and the losing team just gets off, just gets off. And a new group of basketball loving humans comes onto the court and then they play that winning team. I'm like, okay, what happens if the losing team is like, yeah, we're not going anywhere. We run this court, we're staying. He said, I've played thousands of games and that's never happened. You're telling me that in pickup basketball, there's just a peaceful transfer of power, pickup game after pickup game after pickup game. And he said, yes. I would be a wreck on my way to that court. It'd be Saturday morning, white knuckles, driving. Oh my God, what if they don't let me play? What if they don't like me? What if they hit my shoes? I'd bring snacks. I'd be like, hey guys, I'm here. I've got my basketball. It's all pumped with the air. And here are um, <laughs> orange slices. And I brought juice and water for anybody who forgot it. <laughs> I would try to make myself the most favorite person. This is just the most chaotic thing in the world. And it makes so much sense 